。潜水的人心潮澎湃，热血流过动脉，别让梦想带着遗憾醒来。总有人被世界淘汰，总有人被记载，在这尔虞我诈的舞台，听过。See that Superman there? That's going to be you later. Remember his movements and his rhythm. That's going to be me. Yeah. Have to do this. Of course you do. <laughs> Good day, all. I am Lehan. Mighty, mighty, who is mighty? Mighty, mighty, I am mighty. Greatest, greatest, who is the best? Greatest, greatest, I am the best. Strong, strong, strong. Best, best, best. <sighs> Thank you. Strong, strong, strong! Best, best, best! Luca. All right. Now that we have time, you two can get to know each other well. After you. My ex-wife's husband persistently tried to ruin my family. Eventually, he got his way. If you believe the nonsense, the whole world will be a mess. How are you two now? Are you divorced yet? Us get divorced. Come on now, be serious. Our baby will be born next month. Why are you saying ours? I can't have a baby with you. Hmm. Hey, would you relax? Never mind. Shushu already told me exactly what he's like. I don't mind. Shushu and I are happy for your success. Then Wendy came to us and told us about Magic Crystal's creative dance. Then I said I'd love to help as long as Shushu's happy. Happy about what? Happy that she was wrong about you. She said, "You were a lunatic, and yet the lunatics make the world go round. That's why Shushu and I both use magic crystal." Hey, Shushu, you'll never guess who I'm having lunch with. I'm with Guo Xinyan right now. Guo Shenyin, huh? Did he corner you just so he could insult you again? Don't you dare stoop to his level. You got that? Guo Shenyin, huh? Did he corner you just so he could insult you again? Don't you dare stoop to his level. You got that? Hey, Shosho, it's me. Uh, I've been so busy I forgot to tell you something important. You mortgaged your house for my loan. I took out eight hundred thousand, of which four hundred thousand is yours. Now that investment is worth a fortune. By my estimate, the money is now worth thirty-five times as much. So that means your child is going to be born rich. You don't have to live in poverty anymore. So that means your child is going to be born rich. You don't have to live in poverty anymore. Hmm. <laughs>
All right, all right. We're almost done here. I've heard enough already. Cut to the chase. Is there anything that you want to change? Change about what? The dance. Do I really have to do it? It makes me really uncomfortable. What's the problem? It's just marketing. That's what marketing is? It's like, Master, Master, please tell me who is the prettiest. Master, Master, please tell me who loves me the most. Is this a soap opera? I'm going to look like an idiot on stage. So what do you want? You could say something super romantic like, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Please, I'm just trying to be honest here. But when you're on stage, you can't sell your honest feelings. What we need is for you to be memorable. You know, I didn't just come up with a dance on a whim. I've done a lot of research into this. You see, most users of Magic Crystal are young couples in love. They can spend the whole night just saying sweet nothings to each other. By using it, they don't have to meet or feel embarrassed. That's why we have this theme and idea of midnight romance. That's the reason we're doing this. I can't stand it anyway. Then we'll change something if you can't. What I mean is, get rid of it. Tell me, is your problem with the show, or is it with me? It's with both. I think that you need to calm down. I'm very calm right now. I think this idea is very creative. Also, we worked on it for so long. Don't throw all that away just because you don't like the idea yourself. I already have so many users. Do I really need to do this? It's not about the number of users. What you need to do is let people know you and remember you. This isn't the time for you to give people orders and just have them listen. But it makes me sick. If I dressed like him, I'd hate meeting people. You know what? It's you I really hate. You've got a sharp tongue on you. Kuo Xinyan, listen to me. I have been a dancer for a long time. Dance is the embodiment of the ecstasy and joy of life. You can't find that in reality, okay? That is why we have to use the arts to bring it forward. If you're not prejudiced at all, you have to admit, that dance is beautiful. That's true. But I can't say that you are. Xu Xu can't go on stage now. She only gets her regular salary. And so, I have no choice but to find more work. And if I don't dress the way that I do, no one is going to hire me. I admit I don't look good at all. But neither do you. Do you remember the time Shushu mortgaged her house for you? You looked like a beggar, like you hadn't showered in weeks. You can mortgage the house where we used to live for your urgent needs. Here, you can have it. If you succeed, you'll get 100 times the money that you invested. That means I'll be rich. I'd like to bet on that. But we have to try to look for the good in all the grime and filthiness. That is the very meaning of our existence. This dance means to promote exactly this kind of beautiful thing. I don't understand what you're so unhappy about. Let the users learn that they can find love with Magic Crystal. I mean, is that really so bad? Are you some kind of emperor or king? You're up there on your high horse, just mocking everyone. Is that funny to you? I couldn't agree with him more. When we go in there, it's all up to you. If my mother swears at you, you just have to deal with it. And why would your mother swear at me? You cheated her for money. I told her the truth yesterday. She might still be angry about it. Okay. Give this card to her later, okay? It'll make her really happy. Uh, is she going to reward me with flowers? <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, Auntie Yang, I brought some things for you. Hope you like them. Why did you buy so much of it? I can't eat all of that. Isn't it a waste? In that case, we're gonna help you eat all of it. And what are you looking at? Huh? I, I think I'm gonna put the fish in the fridge. No, don't bother. We're going to cook it. The yellow croakers my mom cooks are the absolute best in the world. I always come home to comfort my stomach. What are you talking about? I don't have time to cook. Can't you see I'm tutoring? Hey, hey, hey! Uh, what's going on? The kid of my mom's friend is studying here. Uh, studying what? Advanced math. Mom! <laughs> Why don't you take a break? Please cook for us, won't you? Luca will teach her. He's a programmer. He's good at math. This is a piece of cake for him. Come on. Can you do it? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> 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 All right. That last question. You help her solve. Uh. <laughs> Hi, hello. Hello. Just ask me if you have any questions. Um... This question. Oh, this one? Okay, let's have a look. Person A and person B are fishing on the river. A catches three fish, B catches two, then they both sit down to eat. A passerby wants to share the fish, so the three of them divide the fish into equal parts. To thank them, the passerby gives them ten bucks. <gasps> How should A and B share it? <gasps> So sad. Please, give me a reason not to. You're not still mad, are you? You cheated me out of money last time I saw you. Do you not remember what you did? <sighs> That's exactly why we came to see you today. Yes, we did take 300,000 bucks, but then guess what happened? Our venture capital program succeeded. Now that's worth 35 times that. <laughs> Mom, you're a math teacher, so calculate it. How much is that? Ten million five hundred thousand. <sighs> Seriously, don't you lie to me. Why would I lie to you? In fact, I'll give you the money right now. We got the money and a man, too. Now look behind you. Luca is pretty handsome, isn't he? <laughs> he does seem like a nice boy. He's not bad. He looks good, doesn't he? He does look a little bit simple. <laughs> Programmers aren't really the brightest of the bunch, but they are very loyal. Mom, I have something very important I need to tell you. Say it. Um, I can hear you just fine. If he gives you any money later, I need you to keep it for me. It's not easy money. In case one day we come back here and borrow money from you, do not lend us any, even if I make a scene or even kill myself. Why is that? Because our boss is a lunatic. I'm not sure what's going to happen. He may borrow money again. Luca follows his every word. He doesn't really use his brain. So we ended up lending a lot of our money to him. <sighs> I have to be careful. Look, aren't I becoming... <sighs> Mm. More and more like me. More and more mature. <laughs> Sorry.
sorry. Please be careful with that. Mind your step slowly. Of course, Hello. Thanks for the help. Here, have some drinks. Oh, Give you. me a hand. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so careful much for your help. help. Into yes, that please, room, just put please. It right there. Thank you. Throw that away. No. Thank no, don't. You. No, don't throw them away. Sir, please just put them out front and stack them up neatly. We can sell them to the junkmen for money. Auntie, that's not worth much. Oh, money is money. I bought some fresh prawns. I can't cook so they're soaked in water. Is that all right with you? Oh, no, those are expensive. Don't soak them in water. Put them in the fridge. We'll save them for the festival. Oh. Sorry, Auntie, I don't know how to cook. Leave it to me. Come, come. Okay, a little further, a little further. Okay, let's put it down here. Right here. That's good. Take the plastic cover off. No, don't. Stop, don't. Don't, don't. Don't take it off yet. What are you doing? How can I return it if you take it off? I've already bought it. Why would you return it? Take it off. It's all right. You bought this? Dad, it's... come. Let me show you something. <sighs> come on, Dad. Dad, just relax. <laughs> Let me give you, you... this. Ha <laughs> ha. There's 900,000 bucks in this car. It's for you. Well, wait a minute. Be honest with me. Where did you get all this money? Dad, of course, I earned it all. You While you were in the hospital, Mom gave me 52,000 bucks. Then I told her about this software that I was developing. Yes, the exact software that you told me wouldn't be worth anything. Once it succeeded, it was worth 100 times that. Okay, it didn't reach 100 times, it was 35 times, but I calculated it and it's 1.8 million. Now I'm giving you I half. I there. I don't want your money. This is your half and I'll keep the other half. Just let me know if you need money. If you give me this card, if you go into debt, they'll come looking for me. Then I'll lose face. Dad, <sighs> come on now, please. Show me some respect, all right? I, I don't want to hear you mocking me now. I just want you to be happy for me. Sir, it's all installed. Yeah, okay. Thank you. 900,000. <laughs> I wouldn't dare spend it. If you ever come into debt again, I'll have to pay with this. Stop nagging, Dad. Come and try it. Take a seat. You're really going to enjoy hey. this. Hey. Have a seat. Hey. Take off your shoes. Hey. <sighs> okay, now put your feet in. Hey. Relax. Put your hands in as well. Okay, let me take that for you. No. Put this hand in too. I'm being tied up, aren't I, huh? This is a massage chair. It's good for your back and for arthritis. It cost me a lot of money. Is your seatbelt on yet? <laughs> Don't scare me. All right, the human cannon is ready. Go easy. What on earth? Don't move, it's okay. What? It's okay, What's Dad, that? it's okay. Oh, no. It's normal. My Just feet. relax, all right? Sit back, like it's this. okay. What's it doing? It's giving Come you on, a massage. Make it stop. You don't make like it? Stop. Dad, it's all right. I cannot Come relax on. Just in relax. this. Make it stop. Dad, it's okay. Darling, Just try please. to enjoy it. Come over here. <laughs> what is it? Yes, darling, what's going on? Why are you Make screaming? Take it easy, Dad, relax. Help me. Try to take Make a deep breath, turn it okay? Off. Just what's sit back. Wrong? I don't what's like this chair. Please turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it okay, off. I'm turning Sorry, it off. Turn it off. Get me off. Okay, how Get do you feel? Get me out of this. Ow. <laughs> are you comfortable? Oh, my, it's painful, my back. Did you Ow. like it? Oh, my. Is it imported from abroad? It is. How did you know? Of course I knew that. I watched the movie Red Crag. Why did you do this to me, son? Are you trying to kill me with this contraption of yours? <laughs> <laughs> Honey, you're making a fool of yourself. I thought Ridiculous. I was gonna die. Give me the beans. I'll peel them. This question is unreasonable. Is it unreasonable? I mean, why exactly are they fishing? Hmm? Am I right? Because fishes have lives too. Wouldn't you feel bad for them? And you put a hook through its mouth. Then you drag it out of its nose and you pull on it hard. Like that. You know, the fish would feel really sad. Really sad. I can see you're a good kid. You know, we should protect the environment and the animals. We can't do this thing. No. This question is sick. It's just sick. You just said it was a sick question. I'm gonna tell Mrs. Yang. No matter whom you tell, the question is still sick. <laughs> Mrs. Yang, he said the question is sick. Huh? Hmm? Watch the pot. Okay. What? This question is sick? Uh, sort of. <sighs> oh, all right. Let me explain it to you then. 
You listen and see if it's sick. Five fishes are shared by three people. The customer pays 10 bucks because that is his share of the total bill. It's one third, right? Thus, the total price for five fishes is 30 bucks. It's six bucks each. Person A caught three fishes, so he should get 18 bucks. Person B caught two, which means he should get 12 bucks. Correct. A and B both ate the same value of fish, both 10 bucks. So that would mean A gets back 18 minus 10 equals 8. And B gets back 12 minus 10 equals 2. 8 plus 2? 10 bucks. Then the customer should pay 10 bucks. Was that sick? Not at all. And you understood it? Yes, I did. Okay, then class is over. Pack your things and head home. Thanks a lot, Mrs. Yang. Goodbye, take care of yourself. So tell me, who is the sick one? I, I'm the sick one. <laughs> what are you trying to do? You're getting us into trouble. Uh, I don't know what just happened. 30000 for a piece of rubbish like that? <laughs> if you really have the spare money, you can just hire me a blind masseur who will massage me at home every day. It wouldn't cost 30000 even until the day I die. You're really such a fool with your money. Give me the card. What card? The one you were giving me. <laughs> 900000 It's ridiculous. And about the TV in there? The small TV was enough, it was perfectly fine. But you just had to buy a big one. When I'm watching, everyone on screen looks squashed to me. The image is bad. You are such a fool, you know that? I <laughs> spent 30,000 to get you a massage chair, and I spent even more money to buy you a big TV. And yet you think I'm the bad guy here? Did you win the money in a gamble? What if you lose next time? You'll have to return it all back. Dad, you know I don't gamble. That's the investment I got from my business partners. Investment? <laughs> I don't believe you at all. You're pulling my leg. Who would give you money for nothing? <laughs> you know what? Your mother and I, we can't sleep peacefully these days. We are always uneasy. I get scared when I watch the crime reports on television. What if I see you in handcuffs? <laughs> Then the policemen drag you in and then got chunk hmm, and they put you in jail. Wow, it's scary. so you actually do care about me. I installed magic crystal on your phone, right? Dad, let me put it this way. Everybody loves and uses this software I made. And that's how I earn the money. Do you understand what I'm trying to say to you? People really use magic crystal? That's right. And why do they give you money? Xinyan, clear the table. It's time for dinner. Okay. You're really pissing me off. <laughs> You're the one who's pissing me off. Yay, the fish is here! Yum, yum. All right, dig in. <coughs> Eat. Oh. Before anything else, let's have a drink first. Okay. okay. Here. Cheers! Cheers. Oh. <clears throat> um, Auntie Yang, there's 10.5 million on this card. And we're giving it to you. Please take it, you deserve it. Uh-huh. Uh, are you the one that, um, keeps the money? Oh, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not. Before, before we came in, she gave it to me and told me to give it to you. She thought it would look more decent that way, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> now, Luca, you don't have to be so nervous. I know last time that the two of you took the money from me because you needed it. And as for me, I've forgiven you. So you don't have to worry about it anymore. Okay. Let it go, let it go, let it go, huh? <laughs> you know... I'll be retiring soon. I have enough money. And besides, it's not like I spend a lot of money. <laughs> that said, I will be keeping this card. Mm -hmm. I'll do it for the two of you. Wanna know why? Because you'll get married, have kids, buy a house. It's all about the money, right? Isn't it? 
I'm 100% supporting your business. You're really so sweet, Mom. Luca. In the kitchen, my daughter told me that someday... Huh? You might try to make a scene and take this money back. Tell me, why would you do that? N no, no, no. Mom, I never said that. You did. Let's just be honest here. Huh? Um, Luca. Uh, yes? I've been treating you as family. <laughs> and thank you for being so kind to young, young, young. And so, if you ever need money for your business, just tell me. I'll return every penny back to you. It doesn't even matter if it's 35 times or 40 times or 50 times. <laughs> right, right. So, yeah. so, yes. So I won't yeah. be listening to my daughter. <laughs> okay? Uh. Let me just put this somewhere safe. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth is the matter with her? <laughs> Auntie, have a drink first. Oh, you go ahead. <laughs> Make yourself at home. <laughs> Where's the shrimp? I bought shrimps, didn't I? They're in the freezer. We'll save them for guests. But I bought them for us to eat today. And besides, isn't Wendy a guest here? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean you were an outsider. That's okay, Auntie. It's fine. Just keep them. I'm not a fan of shrimp. Oh. Okay. Just keep the shrimp. If Shinian goes to jail someday, then we'll just fry them all up and send them to him. Dad. Oh, sir, that was a really good joke. Okay, that's enough. Cut it out. Go eat. Oh, Wandy, you sure worked hard today. Here, have some more. Eat more. Okay, thanks, Auntie. And you know it's not only today. Whoever marries him is going to suffer every day. Guan Shan! What's the matter? What did you mean by that? When I was down and out, you said I was a loser. And now I'm living well and you're doubting me. What's your problem with me? I spent 30 grand on a massage chair for you, and yet you complained that it nearly electrocuted you. What do you want from me anyway? Guo Xinyan, don't talk to your dad that way. Sit, sit down. down. Just sit. You know about your father's temper. Just calm down and eat. I worked so hard to make money in the city so I could buy these gifts for you. But now look, I can't even eat and I want to throw up. You want to throw up? Then hurry. Go and throw up before you start eating. <laughs> buy a gift for me. <laughs> Who will think those are gifts? People will think you just came back home because you wanted to show off. You didn't visit us at all for a year, and once you did, you asked me for money. It's ridiculous. Not this time, though. Wow, this time you brought nice things back with you. <laughs> you made a fortune. <laughs> if you came back here looking to hear some compliments or any sort of praise for me, you've got the wrong idea. Why should I compliment you when he was a baby? See? He was a big one. He was really cute. He was adorable. <sighs> Whoever held him, he smiled at them. But whenever I held him, he would piss all over me! <laughs> oh, knock it off. Just eat. You know it's true. In elementary school, teachers asked for me every few days. You really wanted to give me a hard time, didn't you? Other students got into college on their first try. Ask him. Hey, it took you how long? Okay then. I'm a loser in your eyes anyway. Mocking me must make you happy. Go eat, go eat. Ignore Mr. him. Mr. Gua, he was much too busy to come home back then. It's his fault. I'll encourage him to come visit you more often. Please don't be angry. <laughs> I'm not angry. His mom isn't in good shape. My heart has three tubes stuck in it. You brat. If you still won't come back in a year or two, no one's going to be here. No. But rest assured, I'm going to leave that 30,000 electric chair so you can take it home and use it. What are you doing, old man? Can't you shut up? Our son rarely comes home. Can't you stop talking and just eat? Oh, come on. I'm just telling the truth. Wandi, help yourself. Don't mind him. Okay. Eat. What are you reading there? 
Here, have some of that. A woman is selling eggs. She sells half of a basket and two eggs first. And then she goes to town to sell half of the rest. Shut up and eat your food. And then two more. Hey. Just now, you two gave me a gift. And now, I'm going to give you one. This right here is a serious illness insurance policy. And you two are listed as beneficiaries. I hope that you two have a good life in the future and that you work hard, okay? I am your mother. Whether your business succeeds or whether it fails, I will help you. I will be there. I will always help you, no matter where you end up. Come, let's drink to success. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> mm. Mm. I'll also get health insurance with you as beneficiary. Our happy <laughs> life in the future is on you. Mm -hmm. Mom, am I really your daughter or not? You sell me out whenever you get the chance. Yes, but we should be honest. <sighs> what are you doing? Who will you list as beneficiary if you buy health insurance? I will list as my beneficiary the editor of this book. Why is that? It is too sick. It's really sick and cruel. I'm really lucky I was born years earlier. Otherwise, I'd been tortured by this book. Its editor is Mrs. Yang. My mother. Always that way? He's been that way ever since I was a kid. He's like a monster. He's got a sharp tongue. He scolds me every time we meet and never says anything nice to me. Some fathers put all of their hope on their sons. It doesn't seem healthy. Hey, how about getting two tickets for them? Let them attend the internet conference. Seeing you on the stage, they'll know what kind of figure you are. Please don't do that. If my dad ever sees me dancing on stage in tights, believe it or not, he'll go up there and beat me. <sighs> people are so different. Some people desperately want it, but they can't get it. Some people have it, but taken for granted. It's sad. Anyone in particular? I mean Lua Wei. You know, he's always dreamed of being like you. Do you know him well? Not very well. Just a bit. Let's go. Hurry up and eat. We've got to catch up on work. What's wrong, man? The internet conference is in two days. Real big shots are going to be there. And what does the conference have to do with us? We're not getting in there. Don't worry about that. Let me tell you. Rofiz will be holding the signing ceremony on the internet conference so as to solicit all the real big shots for investments. Our chance is coming soon. Bro, are you telling me that we should release the software right now? When else should we release it if not now? But if we decide to release the software now, won't we be sued by Magic Crystal for plagiarism? Those big shots probably won't take such a big risk on us. Mm. It's worth taking the chance. The internet big shots will also take the chance. Let me tell you, Xiaomang. You know in this world, there's no such thing as easy money. Give us the bill, please. Okay, one second. Check out table number three. Please, go and try some. Okay, thanks. Hey, how are you? Are you doing great? Yeah, I'm fine. Mm. <laughs> Let's give a round of applause for Magic Crystal. <laughs> stand up, stand up. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> okay, okay. This is your first time to have a business meeting in Rofus as a partner. Let me give you an introduction. Alex. <laughs> Zhou Xiaodong. <laughs> Martin. Suka. Angela. <laughs> and a special introduction for these two fantastic women. One T from Fudan University. She has experience in several investment firms with excellent performance, specializing in corporate structure and financial consultation. And here on my left is Nala from Cambridge University. She is the head of the Rofiz Investment Division and is hereby appointed as representative of Rofiz to Magic Crystal. You'll be working together a lot in the future. I want to hold a grand signing ceremony at this internet conference. By then, all of the big shots of the internet will attend it. They're all pioneers. How will Magic Crystal present? What will be the topic of your speech? Here! Do you really think going to Tibet will help? Everything can be solved. Just take it easy. Are you serious about riding through Death Valley? You shouldn't do it. Tell your investors you can give up the shares and the profit. But without you, Magic Crystal means nothing. That's my English name. Kiss me. What is it? Do you want to deny it? Washington, I hope you know how worried I am right now. Washington, I'm really scared you're dead! Mr. Kwa. Mr. Kwa. Well, I, I have an idea. We developed uh, Magic Crystal by wearing costumes and singing, singing operas. So I'm thinking that maybe we can combine Magic Crystal with, with operas. Stop it, just stop it. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Pong. It is true that our team has not discussed this matter. Today we'd like to hear your advice about this issue. There'll be another dark horse appearing at the conference. The antivirus software he created overturned the internet security industry, totally free of charge, getting over a hundred million users, and that number is still rising. Excuse me. He is going to give an academic lecture. Can we borrow his manuscript and maybe take some notes from it? I don't think that's a good idea. The academic presentation is too rigid. Sorry for interrupting. It's okay. You spoke confidently. You must have come prepared. Go on. I don't think a speech is a good idea. I think it's too old-fashioned. I... I think Magic Crystal should show up in a fashionable, trendy, humorous, and stylish way. I have a word with you. Just a sentence. Guo Xinyan, I'm really scared you're dead. Guo Xinyan, don't tell me you're dead. Guo Xinyan, I hope you know how worried I am right now. Guo Xinyan, I'm really scared you're dead! I'm begging you. I'm not. 
भगवान快叫！